Hey guys, what's going on? Garanex here, bringing you another video on Genshin Impact. Tomorrow, it's finally November 11th. Besides the 11.11 sales that's going on, we're also excited for one other thing, and that is the version 1.1 update that we've all been waiting for. Now with this update, Chao or Tortaglia will be introduced into the game as a playable character. So let's take a look at his skill sets and whether or not you should summon or skip this banner. First of all, his banner is called the Farewell of Shneznaya. Uh, it's a really interesting name. It could somehow mean that he might betray Fatui, given that his personality is like someone who's always looking for something new and fun things. I don't know, that's just the impression that name gave me. I think that will add a really interesting twist to the story. Anyway, his banner will have him as the featured 5-star character, along with Beidou, Ningguang, and also Diona as the 4-star rate-up characters. So for all my 7 Deadly Sins fans out there, Beidou is your full counter, really fun to play. Ningguang is an insane damage dealer and waifu material. Diona is the new 4-star character, a cryo bow user with a healer or support role. Now we will not be going into details on every single character, that would just take too much time. If you are interested to know my opinion on the other characters, comment below and I will make a separate video talking specifically about those characters. But in this video, let's take a deeper look into Tartaglia himself. So Tartaglia is a 5-star Hydro Bow user. His normal attack performs up to 6 consecutive shots with a bow. He has a charge attack that will deal Hydro damage and apply Broken Flow. He has a plunging attack just like every other character. And Broken Flow is a new status effect of sort that he applies on the enemy. So when Tartaglia attacks an enemy affected by Broken Flow, nearby enemies are dealt AoE Hydro damage. Now his elemental skill unleashes the equipment made of water, dealing Hydro damage to surrounding enemies and enter a melee stance. Now his normal attack performs up to 6 consecutive strikes, his charge attacks consumes a certain amount of stamina to unleash 2 rapid strikes, and also there is the Broken Flow Slash. When Tartaglia attacks an enemy affected by Broken Flow, nearby enemies are dealt AoE Hydro damage. So his elemental skill changes him into a melee stance, but we are not sure if there is any duration for the melee stance or will it just be toggling between the range and melee stance. So we are not sure about that yet and we'll need to see how it actually works. His elemental burst will be slightly different depending on whether he's in a range stance or in a melee stance. So when he's in a ranged stance, Tartaglia shoots a magical arrow dealing AoE Hydro damage while also applying Broken Flow to all enemies hit, restores some of the elemental energy used. And when he is in melee stance, performs a wide slash dealing massive Hydro damage to all nearby enemies, triggers Broken Flow Burst. Now Broken Flow Burst is the same, so when Tartaglia attacks an enemy affected by Broken Flow, nearby enemies are dealt AoE Hydro damage. His passive when you unlock him at Ascension 1 is increases Broken Flow's duration by 8 seconds. I don't know how long is the duration when you first get him without this Ascension, but 8 seconds is a pretty long time. And his second passive unlocked at Ascension 4, when a normal attack or a charge attack in melee stance results in a crit, apply Broken Flow to the enemy hit. And the passive that unlocks automatically when you get him, it increases all party members' normal attack talent level by 1. So you can see his entire kit revolves around this status effect called Broken Flow. And if you get him up to level 70, which is Ascension 4, whenever he deals a crit damage in melee stance, he will apply Broken Flow as well. So his build will most likely revolve around getting a high crit rate and making sure he stays in the melee stance for as long as possible. In terms of weapons, there are a few interesting choices. For 5-star weapon, there's the Skyward Harp and the Amos Bow. Skyward Harp has a crit rate secondary stats, and it also increases your crit damage. And there will also be a chance to deal an AoE damage, which helps in clearing mobs, although the damage will be physical damage. For Amos Bow, it has an attack secondary stat, and it also increases your normal attack and aim shot damage. This might work because his aim shot will deal hydro damage and apply broken flow. So you might be able to initiate with an aim shot to apply the broken flow before going in with other damages. For 4 star options, the very decent hunt is a very interesting one. It has a crit rate secondary stats and upon a normal hit or an aim shot, have a 50% chance to generate a cyclone which will continuously attract surrounding enemies dealing 40% of attack as damage to these enemies every 0.5 seconds for 4 seconds. And I will assume that cyclone actually deals a Nemo damage. 
If anyone has this bow, please comment below and confirm if this is true. And if that is a Nemo damage, then Tartaglia himself will be able to apply the Swirl effect by himself and deal extra Hydro damage in this case. So that saves you a slot on your team, which you can replace with another character that benefits your team. Other options could be the Stringness if you are comboing with other elements. For the free to play option, you can go with the Prototype Crescent, it has a attack secondary stat and aim shots hit on weak points increases your movement speed by 10% and also your attack by 6%. Although I personally don't think that both craftable weapons are very suitable for him. For the 3 star weapons, you can go with slingshots or you can go with the raven bow. For artifacts, we don't have any sets that increases hydro damage bonus yet, so I will go with the 4 piece wondrous troop to increase his elemental mastery and his charge attack damage. Again, because his aim shot can apply broken flow, which can be your initiator. Or you can go with the Noblesse Obliged to increase his elemental burst damage. If you are a newer player and you don't have access to these two sets yet, you can always go with a 2-piece Gladiator to increase his attack and a 2-piece Berserker to increase his crit rate. For the main stats, you want to look for attack percent, hydro damage bonus. For the headpiece, you can go with attack percent or crit damage if you already have enough crit rate. Otherwise, go for crit rate. For substats, you can go with attack percent, crit rate, crit damage, elemental mastery, and energy recharge. I don't think you can ever go wrong with these stats for a damage dealer. For team comp, you can really pair him with anyone except Geo, I think. You can go with Pyro for Vaporize, you can go with Electro for Electro Charge, or if you want to go for more crowd control, you can pair him with Cryo for all the freezing. So with the information we have right now, that is how I would build him. When we finally see his full skill sets, this may change as well. So, should you summon or skip? I would say yes, you should summon if you really like the character. And yes, you should summon if your team is lacking a Hydro character, especially a damage dealer. And I would say no, you should skip it if you prefer another character over Tartaglia. As we know, Zhongli's banner will be next. So if you prefer Zhongli over Tartaglia, it's best to skip this banner and wait for another 3 weeks for Zhongli. And just a reminder, there is the test run feature that allows you to try out the characters first. So be sure to try them out first before summoning on the banner so you can be sure that you really like the character. Personally, I will summon on the banner for Ningguang dupes because I'm using her as a main damage dealer right now. Getting Tartaglia would be good too since I don't have a strong hydro unit yet. And his Japanese voice is voiced by one of my favorite voice actors. So I hope this video gives you some insights on Tartaglia so you can make a smart decision yourself. Join my Discord if you wish to discuss more about Tartaglia or the game in general. Link will be in the description below. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. That's it for today. Take care and have a great day ahead.